Hi everyone, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery here, and today we're going to talk about factoring pricing. So you can factor pricing for estimate or for a whole price list, which is very interesting. And all factoring means is adding a percentage on top of labor, material, or uh, other factors that you want to increase the price list or pricing by. So there's many reasons to do this, and let's go take a look at what those reasons are and how to do this. So here I am in an estimate and we're looking at some roofing here. And let's say that I had to add some additional labor to a certain line item because maybe the labor has skyrocketed due to the storm that has hit and all the labor is being used currently. And the pricing of the sub has gone up knowing that there is market scarcity. So what we can do is I can highlight my roofing items, my RFG items here, just by holding down my control key and clicking. I could highlight the line items that I need. You can then right click, and go to global changes. In global changes, you can drop down the list here and go to factoring. Factoring is where you can add a percentage on the different activities of the line item. So for the removal, I actually want to increase that, let's say 15%. And for install only, we're gonna put 15% there for the replacement shingles. I can also go to where it says select, and if I had multiple trades here, I could also just select the one trade that I want and apply it only to that trade. We have that capability here as well. So I can left click OK. That's going to increase the percentage of the unit price by 15%. So that's one application for factoring for pricing. So that would be the labor scarcity issue. The other issue that we run into is painting. Painting seems to be very low in Xactimate for some areas, and so I could go in and let's see, we're going to paint the walls and ceiling in here. We've got our paint walls and ceiling, and let's say that that pricing is really low. My bid came in at around $1,500. I could then right-click, go to Global Changes. With this factory window, I could then increase the material or install or what have you uh, up to the amount of the bid item. So that helps with the pricing in those areas. Stucco is another one that seems to be really low out in the industry. You could then use the line items, them by a percentage, to make it more closer to the average for what that trade would cost in your area. I could also take the whole list if I wanted to and select all with Control A, right click and go to Global Changes. There's actually a button, Global Changes, there when you select all. And then, of course, you could factor just that painting trade, that's another way of doing it. If you just want to isolate that trade and you have a really long list of line items, it's not very economical to go in and click on each painting line item. You could just select all, go to global changes, and cho choose that painting option, then change the factoring here that way. Another thought on this is that maybe you always want to have your pricing increase by a factor percentage. An example of when you'd want to use that is maybe you're near a supplier in a different price list area, meaning I'm here in Salt Lake City, but Park City is very close to us, but it is much more expensive to buy supplies in Park City than in Salt Lake City. So if I'm in the canyon up here and I'm closer to Park City to get my supplies, I'm not going to run an extra 10, 15 miles to Salt Lake City. I'm going to go to the supplier in Park City since I'm right near there in the canyon. However, exact where has drawn the line where the zip code I'm working falls into a Salt Lake City price list. Park City, of course, would have its own pricing for that area in this example, and therefore I would have to factor the Salt Lake City price list that is assigned to the estimate up to the Park City pricing. So in that instance, what you want to do is you want to pick a price list. So I'm going to pick San Bernardino, California, just randomly, not for any reason. I'm going to pick that price list and right click and duplicate. You can't do it on the original price list. You can't make changes like this to an original. You want to go ahead and duplicate it. Then we can name it factor. Put factor after that. I've got the price list name, underscore factor. Um, I can allow the carrier profile to access that or contractor if you work in that profile. 
And then I'm just going to go ahead and accept all of the other defaults here. When I duplicate that price list, it creates another price list here. I can right click and then we can go factor. And here I can factor unit prices or component prices. So I can go into the unit prices here. I can select categories. So I can search for the paint trade. Let's see here, P and T is what we're looking for. And then I can increase all the items on the paint trade by 20%. I can also make other global changes. I can say O and P should always be O and P on everything. So if we factor the unit prices in the painting category by 20%, I can left click OK. And now that is saved for this price list for this month. You would have to do it every single month since a new price list comes out every month. This will save you time and not in that you don't have to change every single line item by factoring in the estimate. You can do it here in the price list. So from now on, rolling forward, in this price list, all the pricing for the painting will be increased. So hope that was helpful to you. It's also something that will not show on an estimate. And I'm not saying that like I want you to hide it. I will tell you that if you do factor in the, the percentage, it doesn't show up anywhere on the estimate indicate to the adjuster or whomever you're turning your estimate uh, into that you want to discuss that it doesn't tell you them that the prices have been factored. So you might want to make a line item note to that effect, just letting them know what's going on. And they can tell when they, your pricing differs from theirs why it is that the pricing is um, has that extra 20% added. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this topic, please be sure to like this video below, share it with your friends me a comment if you have something to say about this issue and maybe you see a different application that I missed and factoring could be used for. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. For more information on XM8 Mastery, be sure to visit www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I will see you next week.